Foot Collectors and Action Figure fans, it's the one and only Optobotomus coming with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to the folks at Mattel, we're going to be taking a look at the new Jurassic World Legacy Collection of the Extreme Chomping Tyrannosaurus Rex. For the package, you got a lot of really nice art with the logo there, T-Rex's head here on the side. Then in the back here, kind of looks like it's the doors to enter Jurassic Park. As you can see, it is an open package, which allows you to try it out. I'm not going to do it because that'll spoil some stuff that obviously I'm saving for the review. But you can see that the package for him is a little bit smaller because there is a, a one-time assembly necessary. Uh, his tail is not attached. You can kind of see it there at the bottom. Uh, then you come around to the back of the package. You get to see an image of the T-Rex with his mouth slightly open. He's got head and neck articulation and a, a gigantic bite. And then a little bit of a tease of another figure coming out from the Legacy Collection. And the top here shows the Jurassic World Facts app. Underneath the feet are little tiny codes that when you scan it into the app, it gives you facts about whatever dinosaur. So not only do you get the, you know, the fun of playing with the toy, you also get to learn some stuff as well, which I think is a terrific idea. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. And here we have the Extreme Chompin' T-Rex opened up and out of her packaging. I do have to correct myself, uh, in the beginning portion, I did keep calling her him but as we know in jurassic park all of the dinosaurs were female but here she is and i'm really quite impressed uh, really very much now uh getting some measurements out of the way as you can see i got her uh, kind of straightened out as much as possible from the nose to the tail she looks like she's about 19 inches or so long so really good size and then in this kind of default sort of position she's uh, about seven and three quarters inches you can essentially make her taller by articulating her and getting her legs to have her beard be more in a reared up position but i'm blown away now unfortunately we haven't been getting a lot of really good dinosaur toys for a very long time and, and unless you went with really expensive, fairly inarticulate, basically statues, you weren't gonna get really good representations. Now, this is the T-Rex that we got in the uh, original Jurassic World line. Um, it wasn't bad, uh, it, it, it looks pretty good, but you can see the paint applications on it are kind of boring, to be totally honest. Uh, th there are some, I'm not going to complain too much. There's one part that, in terms of the paint applications, I do like a little bit more on this one. Uh, Sculpt-wise, isn't bad. I mean, the tail is really very thin now that I'm kind of looking at it. Uh, and then you had the little... And it was crooked. With... Ding! Ding, Ding, That's... I mean... It wasn't terrible, but this one always had a hard time standing. Uh, the, the positioning of the foot was always really kind of bad. You know, they had it in this walking pose. Uh, but the articulation-wise, I mean, the, the mouth, these little things here could swivel here. These can move, but because of the way that the foot was done, uh, you were stuck basically leaving it like that. You really couldn't do too much. And this is from Hasbro. Uh, so... Me. This guy is just uh, immeasurably better. I mean, leaps and bounds. Uh, you can already see me articulating it. Uh, there, there's a lot more articulation in this guy. The detail on here with the paint is really nice. Uh, as this is part of the Legacy Collection, this is the T-Rex that was from the first movie. Uh, more specifically, from the look of it, uh, before it battled the Velociraptors at the end of Jurassic Park. I mention that because we do have other T-Rexes that we're going to look at that replicate how the same T-Rex looks in Jurassic World, which again, we know is from Jurassic Park, but the Jurassic World version actually has scars on her from that battle. Uh, now, the one thing you're, you're seeing, like I was talking about, paint application-wise, uh, the biggest thing that I don't like on this one in my eyes instantly go to it is the different color lower jaw here and you're already seeing kind of what's going on 
it's not bad it looks pretty good but i like that this is a little bit more blended in with the rest of the body this i think would look better if there was a little bit more of a fade kind of going in there giving a little bit extra color as you can see like all of this has really nice panel applications throughout the entire thing this is basically just one piece with a couple paint applications like for the teeth and then the jaw or the intersection of the mouth and everything so i wish there was a little bit different of a paint job here but everything else is amazing now the other thing i keep throwing this one down and i keep wanting it i needing it i guess there's a big size difference here in the feet uh, I mean, you can see size-wise just uh, the, the difference overall. But there's a size difference here in the feet. And that really does help to balance her and allow her to kind of stand without, you know, being delicate with the balancing. That I really, really do appreciate. But the paint on here really is nice. Now, this, I have seen people say that this looks kind of like a, a rolled up sock. And it kind of does, uh, but it allows you, as you can see, to get a lot of articulation in this. Uh, you basically have two joints. You have a joint right down here at the lower section. So you got that swivel and then it also moves forward. It's like a ball joint. I mean, it goes up and down, side to side. And then you see that joint here. I mean, all sorts of articulation in this. I mean, I absolutely love that range of motion. It can also rotate. So you can do that. Uh, I mean, coming down to look at the rest of the articulation, the uh, arms here, the little baby Rex arms do have that little, I, I want to say it's like a pin hinge joint. Yeah, it pins in so it swivels and then it has a little hinge so that you can actually articulate it kind of in and out. The hips back here uh, rotate. Uh, when you move it forward, it kind of wants the lock right there, but you can move it back and like I said, if you really wanted to make her taller, you can. You could do something like that. You can have her be like a Barney the Dinosaur type of thing. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It also can move in and out. Both of them, not a ton, uh, but a little bit. That allows you to kind of spread the legs and position things. Come down here to the ankles, they also rotate. So you can, again, kind of position this in a way that helps to balance her a lot better. Uh, it does kind of break up the sculpt. It is designed to be position like this and then when you rotate it you can see that it kind of breaks that uh, that's true on both sides but you can see i mean it's still very very helpful and then you come back to the tail and even the tail which is a separate piece is on a ball joint so you can articulate that up and down it can move in and out i mean it is kind of curved i don't think this part here rotates that's a separate piece on this is hard and then this back section here is a rubbery material uh, probably just for safety reasons um it did take me a little bit to try to figure out the alignment uh, what i will say is there are grooves that come down here you want to make sure that those are kind of lined up with the back and as they go down to the tail and you can see you got like double lines down on the bottom section so that's the correct positioning uh, for the tail but Articulation wise is quite impressive and then like I said you can move that forward to kind of lock it in a more uh, just natural walking pose for her. Now as I said this is the extreme chomping action T-Rex so you have a button right here that when you push it opens the mouth and I love that there's a tail it's a little bit softer of a material so it's a little blah, blah, blah. but I love that that's there. Uh, I kind of wish that there's a way that you could lock the mouth open just to create that like iconic <laughs> scene, uh, but unfortunately you can't. Great detail all the way around. The teeth are nicely painted. They're yellowish. Uh, you can see on the inside, there's a nice kind of glossy paint on the tongue to give it a little bit of a wet look. Same with the bottom of the jaw. And then even the top of the jaw has that nice shimmery plastic, which looks terrific. Great yellow eyes. The sculpt, the detail on here is just phenomenal uh, in general. Uh, I mean, all of them really are. And, and, and like I said, we've waited for good painted, articulated versions of dinosaurs uh, for a long time. Uh, companies have been reluctant to give them to us, uh, it seems. And I love what Mattel has done with this. It is absolutely terrific all the way around. Uh, this entire line has done nothing but impress me. Uh, I, I mean, even when you open the jaw, I love these little, I, I don't even know what you call these, just like intersections of the jaw, how they extend out and kind of fill things. I mean, that is 
really amazing. I'm just so quite happy. Now, this isn't my favorite T-Rex. Uh, there, there are three of them that are out there. I'm going to be taking a look at them, uh, but this is the smallest of them. Well, I shouldn't say the smallest. There, there are some that are smaller, uh, but it's probably uh, budget-wise one of the best that you're going to get. It is a little bit cheaper. I don't know necessarily if uh, I guess you could really complain too much because in terms of pricing, and I'm trying to figure out a way to prop the mouth open, <laughs> uh, the pricing on this is amazing to me. Uh, this guy, I want to say, was 15 bucks, uh, which is, in my opinion, really, really quite impressive. I, I'm just blown away by, number one, the quality that has gone into this, as well as as the price point that's one of the most impressive aspects like 15 20 bucks is great for this now as i said one other final feature that i'll bring up is the little jurassic park facts interaction i want to bring this in i got the little code right here i got the app we're going to launch it and we're going to go to town so once you launch it you're brought in here very easily obviously i have to give access to the camera it's loading up Yay, yay, yay. It goes through, hi, my name is Mr. DNA. Follow me around, I'll show you around. So we're just going to hit that. Uh, I mean, there's different areas in it. So you got like the little metasaurs. What's this? We're going to click on that. That is the, I can't say that guy's name. I'm going to review it, but I can't say it. But all this goes through. So we have that. I'm just kind of tells you a little bit of a fact. So we're going to go back. We're going to go to the scan thing here on the bottom. And then this is what you're basically look, you're looking at his crotch. So you scan that. Get rid of that. Okay, so you have that little uh, thing right there that you bring around to the code. It scans it. Look at that. It opens it up. And there is Rexy, Tyrannosaurus Rex. One of two. You can see there at the top. Um, loading... There's another Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm not sure which one that is, but uh, it says this dinosaur hasn't been discovered yet. So you can press a light. Oh, oh, maybe that's, I think that might be, that's the baby T-Rex. That's another one in the Jurassic Park line. So interested in a dinosaur? You can save it to your wish list. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're going to go back and you can see T-Rex. We're going to tap on it. And then down here in the bottom right, is some information so we click on that the Tyrannosaurus Rex lived during the Cretaceous period 68 to 66 million years ago and uh, there's other little facts so we can hit on that one she is a carnivore preying on other large dinosaurs hit this one down here fossilized footprints suggest the Tyrannosaurus Rex may have been hunted or may have hunted in groups that's Kind of interesting to see there you know now you have other little facts right here that you can unlock i don't know how you unlock them but i love that uh, i think that's amazing that they're including this whole aspect you can see like diet assets and then all this different stuff so really very fun and like i said still knocked her down uh on, oh, one other thing is that you got on here the little uh, jurassic world logo on the bottom of her foot instead of having it printed somewhere on there like the old uh, kenner ones or even the hasbro one had it printed on there also no screw holes that i see anywhere on this it's just a good looking dinosaur that replicates how it's supposed to look beautifully this girl is terrific i if you're a dinosaur fan if you're a jurassic world fan i could not recommend this enough to you it, finally we have good additions to our collection i think kids are gonna love the play feature uh, that's built into these it's kind of hard to do at times the play feature is really fun uh, the educational aspect is fantastic and i think collectors are gonna love this as well because as i said they look and the t-rex here specifically looks amazing so all that being said if you're looking for her or any of the other new jurassic world figures they are hitting various retail locations right now 
but the Legacy Collection is exclusively available here in North America to Target stores. So if you're looking for it, good luck and happy hunting. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Don't forget that if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support and letting me know by hitting that thumbs up button. It actually does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you're new here, welcome. And before you go, make sure you subscribe in case you haven't already subscribed. That way you'll get instant email notifications whenever I upload a new video, and you'll never miss out on a future review of mine. Or hey, if you're already subscribed, now more than Ever, it's important to make sure that you're getting those email notifications. We all know just how unreliable that YouTube subscription box is, and the best way to help support my channel and not miss any future reviews of mine is to click on that little bell right below this video and double check your settings to make sure that they're set so that you get those email notifications. And a very special thanks to you if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Another way that you can really help to support my channel is making sure you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.